You want to talk some shit? Call me. Start some shit, bitch. Sup, fool? You gonna talk shit about me, homie? Where you from? Hundreds of niggas is waiting for your motherfucking call and they all talking shit about you right now. You wanna sell that shit? Call these motherfuckers ASAP. Yeah, I said some shit. What? Man, fuck you and your bone spurs. The hardest niggas is standing by, ready to pick up that phone. Buff niggas. Dark niggas. Asian niggas. White niggas. Suck my dick, bitch. Fuck you. 1-213-373-4253. Just dial, nigga. I'll fuck you up. Deaf niggas. Classic niggas. Racist niggas. Mystery niggas. Psycho niggas. Dog niggas. Jewish niggas. You got some motherfucking nerds calling me out Shabbat on some little bullshit ass nigga. Better calm that shit down and come around here and show me some fucking respect before me and my Jewish niggas come up here and beat your ass nigga. Off top. Niggas is talking shit. Call now. $4.99 per minute. Inflation's a motherfucker. Welcome to another shitty episode of The Shit Show. Where we bullshit, we talk shit, and we get into some shitty situations. I am your host, Mr. St. Patrick, and for today's guest is ready to bring the shit and get shitted on. So please show love to Cameron to the show. Thank you, thank you. Don't, see, don't do it again. You saw how his voice got deep. Again. Hey, listen, I, I brought my toilet paper with me this time. Don't, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be wiping. <laughs> Sprite to clear that little... I don't, Hey, I don't know. Flim. That's Flim. Nah, that ain't Flim. What it is is uh, Ladies Luster. That's what it's called. Mm -mm, yeah. That is disgust. That's that's the, what that is. It's supposed to disgust. I hope it disgusts you. I don't yeah, me yeah. to disgust the hoes. They're like, ugh, why you doing that? The women mm -hmm. love it. I don't call them hoes. Sorry, the girl. females. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but I wanted to uh, to start the show. I wanted to, to do a shot. And, and, you know, a shout out to our Dallas Cowboys because you are a yes, Dallas sir. Cowboys fan. And we are America's team, so... Here goes Ghost Loggers for taking it back. A little bit old school. Luke Cuts for Dallas Cowboys. Stop. For life. Yeah, Jimmy's over here hating over here. Four nine? Yeah. Four well, life. Here we go. Dallas Cowboys. Ugh, lame ass. Matter of fact, <sighs> shit tastes like medicine. Yep. It does. <laughs> Not the same when I was younger. Woo. Actually. I don't think I'm going to get a cold for like seven months. Yeah. Do you remember <laughs> Ghost Loggers, why we used to drink it? <clears throat> the whole gimmick of it? Uh, the wanting to take a shit? No, I don't remember. We used to, when we were younger, we were like, oh, man, we're going to drink it so we can take a shit and see gold chips and her shit. Oh, uh, no. I don't remember. I don't yeah. remember having that conversation. That was probably you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I started drinking at, a, at an early age. I was drinking probably like at 16. Yeah. I used to go to, to to school with fucking alcohol and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't like big into like drinking yeah. or uh or smoking. Like I, I had, I had my periods, but yeah, my, my mom was a an addict, so I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't trying to touch anything that I could possibly like dive into that world. Yeah, well, actually, I was drinking so much that by the time I turned twenty one, I was good. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ah, I'm not trying to drink anymore. But um, every time that we do the show, we always try out a different drink. We, you know, a lot of times it ends up being local or something that not normal people are not normally people are drinking. So um, I was at the liquor store today, and I seen that they have this. Uh, it's a soda, but it's a um, it's alcohol on top of it. It's called the Finnish Long Drink. Uh, it's Legend of 1952. Uh, so we're going to try it out. We're going to see, you know, how it is. We're going to give you some ASM. Yeah. Um, yeah, ASMR right. right there. Yeah. Where is this picture? I don't know. Uh, I can't say I'm a fan. I'm not. I'm not a fan either. Like, yeah. the strong grape. There's a strong, strong grapefruit. Yeah. Flavor. It's not like a squirt either. It's more like a... Oh no. <laughs> and not the good squirt either. <laughs> I don't know. Just, <laughs> Face it, no. Hey. It just tastes weird. Boom boom. Yeah. 
The Legend of 1952. Yeah, this tastes like 1952. <laughs> <laughs> tastes like racism and <laughs> slavery. Yeah, this tastes like free slavery. I don't know. It just has a weird taste. It's. I'm sorry. We're gonna this get that, this. Uh, this that. This that. I just got free mouth. Yeah, we're not a fan <laughs> of it. The long drink is not. A, I mean, it is a long drink, but I don't know. It's not gonna be long for me, so it's out. But um, to start off the show, um, if you were on a date and you see your ex, are you mentioning this person to your ex? <sighs> so like, you're on a date, right? You're with this chick. Mm. And you see your ex, you know, by herself or whatever the case is. Are you mentioning to the girl that you're with, to your ex? To my ex? Or I'm sorry. Are you mentioning your girl that that's your ex? So that's happened. Oh, yeah? Um, with, my, uh, with my first ex-wife. Yeah. Like I was at Top Golf on a date. And then um, I feel like these eyes burning yeah. the side of my face. And I turn and, <laughs> and it's my ex-wife sitting over there. Oh, shit. I was like. This shit is crazy. The crazy part is because she doesn't live anywhere close yeah. to that top golf. And I was like, it's my ex-wife right now. <laughs> it's my first ex-wife. We like I don't hate her, but, yeah. but she I'm still in her psyche, so yeah. we don't we don't have a relationship. <sighs> so that was yeah, that was weird. Yeah. And then my son told me later on, like, that his mom brought it up. He was like, why does that even matter? Yeah. I mean, she's probably not over you. <laughs> you know what? I thought about that. Yeah. I told her, I was like, she she has to like still care or something yeah. in order for that to happen. Because we were like, we were kids, bro. Yeah. We were kids. We got to, I was 18. She was 19 when we got together. Yeah. We were split up by the time. First love. It was like 20, 23. Yeah. 23, 20. I had my son at 20. Yeah. Like 23. Yeah. We were divorced. So Was she your first love? Was she my first love? Yeah. Um, no, no, no. I feel like any man's first love is their mama. Like, <laughs> I'm, talking about, I'm talking about sexually though. Like, oh, my, I mean, yeah. my <laughs> first. Like, when I think about it, now my second, my second um, ex-wife, like the way that I, I phrase it, like she probably was my first love. But if you want to look at it, like as far as like sexual experience, it'd be like um, my oldest daughter's mom. Oh, okay. So we were together from. Um, our eighth grade year to our junior year. Yeah. So let's let's reverse it around a little bit. Reverse cowgirl. Um, <laughs> if you were out by yourself and you see your 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 ex, you know, out on a date, are you fucking that date up for her? Nah. Yeah. I'm let it, I'm, I'm letting that good shit luck, slide. Nigga. Yeah. Hey, hey good luck, Because nigga. depending on who yeah. it is, I'm gonna let it slide. Now, do I know the motherfucker that she on the date with? That, that it might be different. Yeah. Like um. Oh, this is my homeboy. And then, which ex are you? And which ex are you asking me about? Let's say the one that you're not really over. Let's say one that you still have feelings for. Um, I don't know if I really still have feelings for her, or just any like, girl. Um, if it's if it's somebody I don't know, I don't, yeah. I don't give a fuck. But if it's somebody I know, like now I'm gonna have to measure like this motherfucker finna be around my kids. Yeah, like. Yeah, you're gonna have to feel the heat a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> you have to feel the heat a little bit, motherfucker. But yeah. What does that situation look like? You're gonna walk up to her or Nah, I probably just look at him. Oh, okay. Like not not her, but I introduce myself, yeah. firm handshake like that. You know, you can give somebody a look that's kinda like, ah, oh, this thing ain't fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> ain't yeah. fucking with me today. Yeah. Um, and what is the most expensive thing a person can buy you that will make you happy? The most expensive thing that a person inexpensive. I'm sorry, oh. inexpensive. Um, inexpensive. Shit, I don't know, bro. Like some gummy worms. Like if you if somebody's paying attention to yeah. like what I like. Yeah. So I had this ex girlfriend. She didn't last. She didn't last long. But yeah. she was like really thoughtful. Um, she had paid attention to like the snacks and shit that I bought. So one day, like I came home from work and I had like a table full of all the snacks and shit that I liked. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. That was cool as fuck. Yeah. Took you out of a moment, whatever. Yeah. Um. So let me ask you because the fact that you're in military, right? Right. Dallas Cowboys. Right. Ugh. A nurse, right, or something in the medical uh, field? Behavioral health tech. And then the fact that you helped, you know, with uh the the hotline and stuff like that. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, for all the girls that are watching, uh, what's your current status? I'm single. Okay. So he's single, ladies. So that way, if you're looking for any of those, you have a man right here. You know what I mean? Uh, I gotta find that Pornhub. Uh, <laughs> let me say that again, ladies. If you're looking for a man to fulfill yeah. that uh that 
uh, what is it? Have you ever seen Fake Hospital? No. Oh, okay. If you're looking for that Fake Hospital, that's the guy right here oh that you wanna that you wanna hit up. Now I'm gonna know? have to look this up. Where is this at? Is this on Pornhub? Probably or XNXX or something like that. Oh yeah, I'm at the. Yeah. It's XXNX, okay. Oh, Get he know. Yeah. He listen. He I got, just got off. I got both of those. Yeah. Okay, let me yeah, say this. Literally what and figuratively. Teenage, I am 18. Okay. <laughs> what yeah. teenager you don't know that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Actually, let me ask you: Would you ever date a porn star? No, no. Nah. Hey, anybody nah. in the in the entertainment business? Nah. Actually, so, there's this dude um, named Adam. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, hold, so that, hold that thought. Hold that thought, because that's where we're going with. Okay, so, okay, so okay, okay. Um, as far as like making her my girl, yeah, no. Nah, but I can have fun with one. Yeah, yeah. Let's say you're with a girl, and you know, because of the fact that Jimmy was going into it, and that seems to be the common conversation, you know, currently right now. You know about the Adam Twenty Two, right? Yeah. You know, what are you doing in that situation? Uh, that shit ain't first. It ain't, of all, that, it ain't working with me. Yeah, you know that I mean? situation is not happening. Yeah, like I'm not following nobody doing it, bro. I don't even like uh, the idea of a woman being with somebody that I knew before. Yeah, <laughs> and then now you have to relive it. And it's yeah, just so and then it's on. Yeah, and then like you that. recorded. It's fucking shit, weird. Just yeah, seeing her like, like nah, I'm good. Yeah, and see, here's the thing too: is I wonder how long she had to play into it before she actually. Because it wasn't his idea, you know what I mean? It was her idea all along, you know what I mean? And and body count counts, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, it counts for women. It don't yeah. count for men. Right. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, when I say that it counts, when I'm thinking about, like, would you get with a girl that's been with, with say, three dudes? Yeah. Would you get with a girl that's been with, like, 20 dudes? I've been, yeah. So, all right. So, you, you're you asking me a question. Would I get with her? Yes. Now, I'm sorry. The relationship, relationship. That's where I was going with that. <laughs> yeah, relation, me, yeah. 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 So, the relationship is different, right? Because there's the, the higher the body count, the more likely I, I am to interact with somebody that you've possibly been with. Yeah. So, it, it, makes it, it makes it a little bit more awkward. Not only that, it's just the fact that, like... As a single male, I yeah. know how many women I've been with. Yeah. So if you have that high body count, like that's a lot of women yeah. and men interactions uh, that I possibly have to deal with. So yeah. And what you know, about something as not as bad as like let's say porn star set? Because we we mentioned OnlyFans. OnlyFans seems to be the biggest thing right now. Could you mess with the girl that's on OnlyFans? Am I am I part of the talent? No. She's she's stripping. Let's say she's at least stripping, but she's not masturbating or anything else on there oh so like other men looking at your woman for nah, 399 no nah, i can't do it. <laughs> yeah like I, I, I don't give a no 399 yeah, yeah i can't i can't do it for the fact of like when you come over you know what my woman looks like yeah like that's that's, that's, that's my entering, thing like yeah that's entering like my manly territory yeah i'm not there yet like yeah. like i i've i've uh i've progressed in life and my outlook is is a little deeper than than most people um, especially growing up in the era that we grew up in. But, yeah. But yeah, no, I don't want you to know what my woman looks like. Like, I, are you sitting in my living room and, yeah. and imagine like, oh yeah, she got that tattoo right there. Yeah. And I, I can't, being the fact, I can't be in a, an argument with the dude and the dude's like, dude, I can look at your girl for $3.99. Yeah. And I know it's not three ninety nine. I'm just using it as, you know, I'm generalizing. <laughs> but if a dude came and told me that, I'm like, okay, she's gone. Like, yeah. I'm out. You know? Off top. Yeah. You're going to come in like, bro, like she ain't going to give you none, but. I'm gonna pay this three ninety nine, and she gonna help me tonight. Right? I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm not doing it. Like, yeah, everybody's yeah. getting an ass whooping. <laughs> yeah, I seen a bunch of chicks. They were talking about um, how many times a guy can wear the same draws. I, I'm 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 only wearing it once, maybe twice, depending on the yeah, situation. It might be two days, three days tops. Like I've been in the military, and there's there's times where you can't just like like. Baby wipes. Yeah. And yeah, you back in the same you back in the same shit, but like, yeah, twice. Yeah. Twice at most. Yeah, they were like I think they had said that they couldn't be with someone that was like two days in or whatnot. But girls are very superficial. Uh, and I'm just saying that it's my own opinion. I know it's gonna trigger some people, but Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then what's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you? The most embarrassing thing? Yeah. Shit. Um I don't know. There's been a lot of like a whole eighth grade year. There's been like a lot of embarrassing things <laughs> that, yeah. that's uh that's kind of happened in in life. Um, yeah, I would just say recently, just because of who I am and, uh -huh. and kind of like where my ego is. Like um, a couple of days ago, 
um, as you know, I work, I work with kids with, with, uh, behavioral health issues. So a yeah. kid spit in my face. Oh, wow. I've never had that happen before. And I had to, I, I had to walk it off. Yeah. First of all, that hallway was long. It, it was long already, but it got longer. So yeah. other kids seeing that and then like <laughs> me having to walk it off while this shit is like, oh man, I, sliding down two biggest face. things <laughs> don't call me a bitch and don't spit on my face bro i had to remember he was a kid yeah the whole time i'm walking down there like he's a kid so then let me ask you because the fact that he had done that how do you how do you make sure that he knows it's not okay and that everybody else is watching because if everybody else watching they're like well he did it so that opens the door now i'm gonna do it so i'm we, gonna disrespect him. yeah so we had um first of all after after that i spoke to him he apologized I told him my stance on it. I said, I know that you were in the spot. Um, but there, there's a chance that I won't respond the same way if it happens again because I'm a human being. And Did you say that before or after you chin checked him? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, in my mind, he was he was <laughs> twisted in so many different ways. But yeah. <clears throat> I couldn't, yeah. Um, but we sat down like we had like over 30 boys. Yeah. Sat them all down. They were in the cafeteria. We had a conversation and I brought it up again, and I was like, so that's it's not a guarantee that I'm going to respond the same way if one of you guys do that again because I'm a human being. Yeah. And there's 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 points for everybody. Right. Number one, because they were all putting their hands on each other, so we had to squash that, and I was talking to them like, you guys all have trauma, and, and you're quick to say what staff does to trigger your trauma, but every single one of you are contributing to somebody else's trauma in here. Right. That doesn't That doesn't make any sense. Um, and then they had like Maryville, they writing all that stuff on the wall. And I'm like, bro, I'm from, I'm from Mary. Were y'all pretending? Yeah. Like, and we grew up like that. Y'all yeah. not like that. Um, so we had that conversation. Everybody was kind of like silent and it was yes, sir. No, sir. At yeah. the end of, at the end of that conversation. So that's good that it, it uh, rectified itself. Um, what was that situation? Not making, not giving them any, any excuse, but was there, logic reason behind it um so i don't know what happened in the beginning but he was already upset oh, okay. and he was um he was picking up chairs and trying to throw them oh okay so i grabbed the chair oh and that's uh, what and then he looked at me he said i'm not scared of you i said i don't want you to be scared of me yeah and then he grabbed he grabbed another chair and tried to throw it so we went to put him in the hold and he turned and yeah. Spit in my face. Oh, bro. Dang. Yeah. That's a lot of patience. <laughs> I mean, bro, I didn't know I had that in me because I always in my mind thought, like, if that ever happened to me, I'm taking somebody asses out. Yeah. But, like, I was like, he's a kid. Like, he's a kid. I just had to keep saying that, like, he's a kid. He's a yeah. kid. He's a kid. <laughs> Well, I'm walking down the hallway and this shit is like sliding down. That was, if, that was super embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, it was. Wow. Um, and I wanted to, to name this a uh, shitty fact, but because uh, every episode I, I name out a, a random shitty fact. But today's shitty fact is, uh, did you know that roller coasters were invented to distract Americans from sin? <laughs> yeah. And in the 1880s, businessman Lamarcus Thompson uh, <laughs> hated that Americans were tempted by places like salons and brothels. So out of Coney Island in New York, he built America's first roller coaster to give New Yorkers some good, clean fun. Um I mean, I still would have chose the broth over a right. roller coaster, but yeah. I mean, teach his own, I guess. I don't Maybe know. that that tingling in the stomach is what was supposed to like simulate the tingling that we get. Before <laughs> I still would have been in the broth. I would have been like, yep. yeah. um, and then I seen on a social experiment and wanted your input, but um, is being fat is that a choice? Is being fat a choice? Yeah, we can't say anything because we can get like people get offended anytime you mention fat people or anything about right. being fat. I'm trying um, to get, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that I've I feel like eighty percent of it is a choice. Like yeah. of course there are biological factors or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it can be controlled. So if it can be controlled, then it's a choice. Yeah. Um, do you think that we help out when people are fat? I mean, we give them. I was gonna say I'm really fucked up. I say that, and I'm I, I I say this all the time. I'm gonna get canceled one day, but we give them like um the chairs and stuff like that to move around. Like I'm thinking like, let's give them walkers. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> let's give them walking sticks. 
Remember, to help uh, him, you know what I mean? Because what's, what's that Disney movie? Wally. You gonna get me canceled? And I'm not even <laughs> asking these fucking questions. Um, yeah. I mean, the 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 environment that we, the environment that is created for us doesn't help anybody. Yeah. Um, especially people who have uh, disabilities and and other things, because we find other ways to enable them. Like the most unhealthy food is the cheapest. It's a cheap, yeah. And then, yeah, then you have like the healthy food, like, oh, you want some, you want organic? Yeah. $30. Yeah. I can even <laughs> you want buy organic food. orange? Yeah. $40. Like, because it has to be in season, right? Remember yeah. when we were growing up, we could, there were certain fruits that we couldn't have because right. it wasn't the season for that. So, yeah. like in the summer, you would have this fruit. In the winter, you would have this fruit. In the spring, you would have this fruit. And now you can have it at all times. And they're putting all these chemicals in, and none of it's really healthy for you. And we don't think about it. The seedless, everything's seedless. Like right. people aren't realizing, oh man, like I'm, I'm eating an orange that's seedless. And it's like, yeah, because it's not a real orange. Right. Bananas, all the bananas are clones. Yeah. Because the, the bananas that we were eating when we were younger, that those crops got destroyed, they got diseases and all that other. So they preserved one and now it's the same banana that we're eating. Wow. I didn't think about the bananas, but that, that makes a good point. Um, but when I'm thinking about fat people, um, <laughs> when I'm thinking about <laughs> obese people, um, because one of the things that I see that they do, they take the picture right from an angle. Um, isn't it a form of catfishing? Man, that's super catfish. So listen. When I first got, I wasn't in a social media guy. Yeah, um, I was I was out of the military or whatever, and um, MySpace was like a thing. Yeah, but I didn't know yeah. until like I went through my divorce. Um, this was my first divorce. Yeah, and I uh, picture phones were like just coming out, so I had the razor or whatever. Yeah, and I took my picture. I'm of course I'm me. Yeah, on there, so I'm getting all these responses and people who are. Bigger bone. Yeah. They are really good at angling. But they're not bigger themselves. bones. The bones are still the same size. Like they gotta stop saying that. They're not bigger. They're just they're the same size. It's just all right. So obese people, they're really good. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the yeah. word that you want me to say. Yeah. They're really good at um yeah, at angling and taking angles. Now I'm a photog I'm a photographer, so I know about angles. I know how to make people look smaller. Yeah. I know that you can make somebody step on their back foot and angle their shoulder away so it doesn't look like they're big and blocky and all those type of things to make people appear slimmer. Um, or wearing yes, black. Yes, it is catfish. They it wear is, black a lot. Yes, or you wear black a lot. Yeah, yeah. tights. Uh, listen, you got to stop doing that because I can see their shit. I can see everything. <laughs> like, it doesn't help anything. Like, I can still see all your shit. You're still big. You're just big and tights. And gray, gray and uh, and horizontal stripes make you look bigger as well. Yeah. Yeah. But I gotta so call. Wear those. I gotta so I call a horse. Like shots are fired towards me, right? No, 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 no. But here, <laughs> no, 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 no. First of all, you gotta call a horse a horse. You know what I mean? Oh, I, okay. I just wanna say this. I'm not. I'm not. Hold on. I'm husky. Okay. I ain't a fat nigga. I, I, I'm trying to outrun some of these niggas out here. I ain't gonna lie. What's your BMI? What? What's your BMI? I don't know. I'm a young nigga. I don't be yeah. worried about that shit. I got. I, I got a scale on my car. Let's go pull it out. That's fine. I'll yeah, probably. Well, We'll see if Go you're big it. or if you're obese. I wear. Guess what? I weigh two twenty and I'm five yeah, seven and a half. So that I'm overweight. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, they I'm, would say I'm super severely overweight. I'm supposed to weigh like one fifty five or something stupid. Like I'm like that. six yeah. five and I'm like two fifty. You're not six five. I'm like six five. Bro, depending on what shoes I wear. I'm like six five. Listen, I'm round. Bro, hold on. First of all, if let you're me like, say this. if you're two like females, six five, I'm six six. Okay, let me just say that. <laughs> if you're on tender, I'm six six. If you're like, if you're like six five, I'm I'm like Caucasian. <laughs> I got bro. No, but see, he wears high heels on grinder, uh, so that makes him six five. I you do. Know what I mean, wait, wait, yeah. not on grinder, on on tender though. <laughs> yeah, there is no way you said my my son. My son is six four, and he's way taller than you. This, you're not even. Nah, four. I can't do that. Nah, he, nah, he <laughs> ain't. See, nah, he ain't. definitely. My original question is, why can't we say? Why can't we call it for what it is? Why can't we say people are fat without I mean, people necessarily? Well, we can't though, because people are gonna get triggered. People are gonna. I'm gonna get some some people that are gonna go in my DMs and be like, I "Can't believe you! You're such a disgrace!" And I'm like, "Right? Are you fat? Like, why are you so offended? Like, but I'm so just being honest. You know what I mean? We need to go back to the stage where we could be honest with people, and not necessarily are we being hurtful. We're just being honest. Right? I mean, so you can be honest and you can say whatever you want, but there are consequences that come with that in yeah. this new climate. So yeah, you can you can say that you can yeah. call somebody fat, but there are going to be repercussions for people who deal with that. that because, right hook, but that what's right. what's the wrong repercussion of calling someone fat? I mean, there's or skinny. I mean, so so would you 
would you say that somebody saying something that may be offensive because we don't know what's offensive or not offensive to somebody until it until it's done i think when it's more descriptive or when it's more designated and what i mean by that is like where um let me let me give more more context to it if you call someone based on something that they can change i feel like it shouldn't be offensive you call someone fat you call someone skinny i don't see it really being offensive now if you start saying other stuff you say the r word right say the n word right you say things okay yeah i get it you can can you can get quickly canceled for that right but if you're calling someone fat and i'm only saying fat because we're on the subject i don't i don't see it or skinny you know what i mean or anorex you'll get you know what yeah, mean? don't say that yeah i'm not you're, you're going to get, i'm not yeah you're going to get canceled yeah for that. and I love, job. Job. <laughs> yeah i love my job so. off top um so uh I don't have an answer for you with that one, Patrick. I, I yeah. listen. So there's, there are people who can't um, change some of those things. So we're we're a society where we have to be triggered by everybody else's triggers, right? Um, and like, so we're gonna do these woke in, in quotes where everybody's like massively oversensitive. I think that we're an oversensitive we society. Are. I, I agree. Right. Um. So. There, there are things that people can and can't control. Like, there's some people that can't gain weight. There's some yeah. people that can't lose weight. That doesn't mean that everybody can't. So we like to include everybody. Yeah. And, and we don't want to exclude anybody anymore. And before, it was like the other way where you kind of had to, like, earn things. And I think that as as we grow, we're trying to find where our middle ground is. Yeah. Because it's either – it used to be, like, black or white, and yeah. now everything's fucking gray. Like – all the houses look the same. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's food choices are the same. Like you don't have, there's, there's no, they're trying to get rid of diversity because they want us to be like this collective group of fucking. They got to stop with that bullshit. And even with the stay, with the stay woke bullshit, I, sometimes I do it out of sarcasm and some people will be liking it like, man, you know, I'm motivating. You're like, no, I'm saying it out of sarcasm because the stay woke is bullshit. Everybody says stay woke about everything. Like, <laughs> man, I did this today. I'm, you know, stay woke. And like, no, you're just fucking just looking for attention. Yeah. And it, and it's that because everybody wants to be the same. Somebody wants to have the information first. Right. So now we're going to say, oh, no, you wasn't on this. Like, I'm woke. Oh, y'all out here sleep. Yeah. So everybody wants to be first. So now we're now we're going back more toward being a uh, individual like. Some people are are pushing against it and want to be individuals. So yeah. let me be first to say this. Let me. Oh, you don't have this information. Let me. Let me give you this. Yeah. And we all we we want to have the information first. Number one is social media driven because we want the we want that attention. Yeah. Like, I remember we didn't have internet growing yeah. up. Like a phone call would fuck up your whole connection. Yeah. And you, <laughs> you might have been. You thought you was talking to a hot chick in the, in the chat line. <laughs> Miss Miss Salt and Pepper two two seven. You don't know yeah. what she looks like, but the conversation was heavy. The phone rings and it's over. Like you yeah. can't find her in that chat anymore. I got catfish one time, uh, <laughs> and my wife still gives me shit about it to this day. My sister and my cousin. So I was talking to this chick, and this chick's like, "Hey, you know, like, you know." Long story short, we end up meeting up with this chick. Uh, her, this chick, and you know, a few friends, my cousin and I. And when we get there. Like right before we're about to get there, you know, it was they were meeting up at a QT and I, you know, we're getting ready to pull up and I see them like in the distance. I tell my sister, I'm like, they're big chicks. And at that point, like I didn't have anything. Back then I was superficial. I didn't, you know, I wasn't into big chicks. Yeah, we're, we're kids. Um, we're, right. Kids are superficial yeah. for the most part. And so I'm like, I'm telling my sister, I'm like, keep driving, keep driving. And they're just rolling. They're just laughing. They're like, hell not. Nah. We're stopping. We're stopping right in front of there. I had to figure out something to do for an hour and a half with them. I kept calling my sister, like, pick me up. And I kept telling the girls, like, yeah, I'm sorry. We're going to have to leave here pretty soon. Something came up. We were there for an hour and a half. I was saying the story 10 minutes in, and they were so confused. I ended up walking in the store, buying them snacks. Like, that fucking helped them out. I helped. I didn't fucking help them out. I ended up fucking buying them snacks. Probably gave them more, gain them more weight. That was a oh, fuck the situation. And my sister, like, she thought it was the funniest thing. Bro. That created trauma for me, you know what I mean? But that, that voice, voice is sounding good. Like if a if a if a girl sounded good on the phone, yeah. it got you everything. Yeah. Like the kids don't remember Friday. those talk line. Yeah. What was the um? Do you remember the line that we used to have? The little teen line that we oh, used to have. Um, what was it called? Party line. Yeah, well, not the but it wasn't called the party line. It was like uh, 
It was well. There was a few of them. I, uh, the loop. The loop. Yes. Oh, bro. The loop had us in Mesa one time yeah. with these. I was like, bro, they got us. Yeah. Yeah, because the the voices are the voices are tricky. Like, oh, she yeah. sounds good as hell. Yeah. So they at least at least we get fake pictures to look at now when you catfish. Like in your mind, this woman looks good. It might not be her, but like we automatically attribute it really good sounding voices to beautiful people and, yeah. and that shit was not the case 85 percent of the time yeah i was like fuck the loop we're gonna close the loop yeah did you ever mess with the party line um yeah i used to be on the loop uh, party line no but oh. the party line was a, a th different one the party line would fucking sucked um it was a good spot to go to where you knew the party was gonna get shot up and you were gonna be in a fucked up situation uh <laughs> nah, so the party line that. you would call this number and it would tell you like parties that were happening in certain areas oh yeah no, you would just fucking fight. go there and fuck 10 minutes in and the party would either get shot up or just something would happen you're like fuck. Yeah. growing up we so we did the flyers like yeah. we did our flyer parties and we would go we would, i don't know how many malls we got kicked out of like, malls hated that shit yeah. like passing out the flyers or whatever we even had our high school security like at uh being security at, at our uh parties oh wow yeah, yeah. um yeah uh, so before we continue we're gonna take a quick shit break um but before we do, don't for, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe to this channel, and share this video for support. We'll be right back. Habari Entertainment Films present There's Only One Name for News with Damon and Aisha. Habari Live Podcast. Habari Entertainment. A race against time. On a quest for glory. Habari News Weekly. HabariEntertainment.com. Catch us for more. Visit us. HabariEntertainment.com. You don't really have to be vulnerable on it. Well, that's so. the point is because I want to be able to um, I want to give people a voice to be to say what they want and to be open and not have to necessarily be criticized. That's why eventually I want to um, move it over to like a Patreon and OnlyFans or something like that. But um, we're back. I'm sorry. Welcome back, fuckers. Uh, random thought. What race would you be if you could be a different race? <laughs> I, I haven't thought about uh Mexican. probably uh Samoan. Yeah, why? Man, because they number one, they're big as fuck. Yeah. And so I'm I'm with the shit. Yeah. But if if I had to fight a Samoan, I'd probably think about it. Oh, okay. like, mm, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's they're 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 uh intimidating. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I cuz I was I was going back and forth on what race I would like to be if I wasn't um Would you like to be a black man? That's fine. Here's the thing, and I know it's going to sound really fucked up. Don't cancel me. I do, but I know in the society that we live in. Yeah. I would love to, you know what I mean? Um because the fact that like comes with a big dick. <laughs> I mean, that's not the only that's, thing. You know what I mean? That's a plus. I mean, and we got height. That's not the only thing. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to explain to people, like, I got a big dick. You know right. what I mean? They're like, I'm black. You know? Come on now. Come on now. But athletically, you know? Right. You're better. Um, Just, I don't know. Most inventions. If you look back at it, most inventions and the ones that we use every day for practical use. It, it, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, Being perfectly honest with you. I'm going to have an honest moment with you. Outside of my own race, the only race that really like supports me and like I'm able to connect with is my is my black folks. My my Mexicans they do too, but I don't get any support from any other race. Right. And it's even been since I was younger. I'm gonna tell you a story when I was younger. I used to go to a um a charter school. I used to hang out with this black dude. My own people were telling me like, you need to stop hanging around with him. I had just gone in mid year. I don't know the whole backstory of it. I, he was really cool. We got along. We were going back and forth. We were rapping and this and that. And just one day he stopped showing up because of the fact that we were hanging out. It was they were treating it like a prison system where I right. needed to hang around my people. He needed to hang around his own people. Yeah, that's just stupid. But um, 
we got along. I just seem to connect more. If I'm not connecting with my own people, I'm connecting with more black people. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Because, I mean, we come, we, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you a secret that's not so secret. Yeah. You guys are just a, a lighter black yeah. black person. Like, it's like the Moors that came over, they were, they're black. Yeah. You guys have black blood in you. Like, any any Hispanic race that you see, they there's darker hues in there. Right. Um, so yeah, you got you guys are black people, so it's and even a lot of the memes and stuff like that they say, I know that we can connect because the fact that they say like, oh, like a lot of times you'll see whether it's you know Mexican or you know it's black, and it's like you know a mom gets mad, and it's like you can you can swivel it each each way. We've all gone through the same struggle, you right. know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so that that would be my my take, but uh, for you it would be Samoan, uh, just so that way you could be bigger. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah. They're bigger. They every single like they babies is like twenty pounds when they're born and shit. Yeah, <laughs> some big ass kids. Like I've been, I've been short my whole life. All my brothers are taller than me, by the way. My dad is short. Yeah, but like all my brothers are taller than me. They're either five ten and up. Yeah. Um, so I don't like it. I want to be like I'm. I'm big as far as like mass, but yeah. height. I need to be taller. And yeah, they're usually real tall and and big. And last uh, question before we head over to the shitty thoughts. At any point, is it bad to unfriend or remove someone who's passed away from your social media accounts? Uh, is it bad? No. I mean, some people don't want to be like reminded over and over again about like yeah who this person was and, and them being lost. Um, I, was I don't like going to funerals. Yeah. So I'm not one of those people that like I. There's only there's only a couple of funerals that I'm guaranteed to go to, but like funerals, I don't I don't I don't even like the the whole vibe of it. I told my kids when I go, I don't want a funeral. Yeah, like cremate me. You can throw me in a in a a grocery bag for I say I this give a shit. I say this all the time. When I die, I want the most fucked up funeral. Um, I want people to go there and be like, where the fuck was I just at? Like, there's just <laughs> so much going on that like, but see, they're gonna have so much fun and they're gonna just be so mind fuck that they're gonna be like man i actually had a good time um i always say i want clowns as pall barriers or i want people dressed <laughs> up in like fucking weird costumes i want a voice of me inside the coffin when they're lowering me down like hey, just kidding i'm uh, get me out hey, you know I'm yeah i want someone to have my phone you know during the service texting everybody like hey glad you guys made it you know what i mean like i want it to be so fucked up to where people be like yep that's patrick like you know i'm still laughing to this day you know what i mean like <laughs> i used to tell my boys um when I get cremated, just uh, smother my ashes over dollars and then take me to a strip club <laughs> yeah. and, and dip. But like, I really just, I just don't want nobody profiting over my death because my kids or family is mourning and yeah. now they're trying to be extravagant on, like, I'm never going to see it. Yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be a part of that, that right. whole situation. So I much rather them spend the money on themselves than to, yeah. to deal with any of that. So, so you want to be cremated when you, yeah. Like, and, I mean, because I'm military, like yeah. they'll pay for it. Yeah. So they don't like it doesn't even have to come out of anybody's pocket. Yeah. So, like but that's my, what I was asking because I was thinking about that, and because they'll pay for it, uh, cremation is probably the cheapest route. Right. Um, but they'll pay for an actual funeral service as well. You know, the burial right. and everything. Right. But you would still choose cremation. Yeah. Okay. Like, I don't need to be buried nowhere. I, I kind of go nobody, back and forth. Like, yeah, I don't want nobody visiting me anywhere or doing like when I'm gone. Just. Yeah. I'm I'm really big on creating memories. Yeah. So we do like vacations and all this stuff because that's what I remember growing up. Like yeah. I remember a handful of toys, but I always remember the trips. I remember the laughing and all right. that other stuff. So creating the experience, that's what I want them to remember. I don't want them to go to a spot on the planet. I want and them have to, to go, feel forced right. to go there. Yeah. I want them to feel I want them to go to a spot in their mind where they Yeah. I was kind of thinking the same thing. And then have you seen how they do seeds now? Like they could turn you into an actual seed and you can grow a tree out yeah. of it. Tree. I thought that was kind of dope. You know what I mean? So, I mean, not necessarily do it. Do they have to come visit me? But I can still offer some. Yeah, it'd be cool to environmental. Be a tree. If, yeah. If 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 I, cremation wasn't a thing, like tree, yeah, something giving back. Yeah. Oxygen. Yeah, I'm the reason you breathe, that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, <laughs> put it, who, put um, it in a uh, put it in a park where racists go, and be like, yeah, a black man is giving you oxygen. <laughs> like that shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. A guy took a lady out for 10 dates and she told him he still ain't getting none. She had two kids and he said he needed to wait or she said he needed to wait. 
A uh, guy was frustrated and kicked her out of his car and told her to walk home. Is he wrong for that? Nope. I don't think he is either. Yeah. Nope. I think he's stupid. Because why are you taking a chick out that's for 10, 10 dates? Yeah, that's 10 dates. That's minimum $1,000. So Whereas, this, this is going to sound kind of fucked up. Yeah. But, um, I mean... You have to let people know where your boundaries are. Right. I'm like after three dates, if if three dates, if we're not fucking exactly. Like it's I'm done with the dates because yeah. at this time I just feel like it's I don't know what what are we doing? Yeah. Um. Like sex isn't the end all be all, but it's one of those it's one of those See, motherfucking. And I, I I feel like this is where I'm gonna like get people upset, but I think sex is has to be a factor it, within it's definitely because if there's no chemistry there, it's gonna cause issues down the road with you and that chick. And I've waited, I've waited before, yeah, and and had sex with the woman and didn't like it, and yeah. and now what? Yeah, I'm still waiting for my first one. You know, uh, I'm I've I'm I'm a abstinence. Um, so I'm waiting for the right person. So when it when I when it does happen, I know it's going to be right. something special. Yeah. So if you so if you have a goal in <laughs> mind, if you have a goal in mind, that's what's up. But if we're if we're dating, I'm gonna let you know off top. Like I'm a, I'm a sexual person. I yeah. talk sexual. I move sexual. Like in my mind, like the jokes that I have is all gonna be sexual. Is that all you think about? No. But it's like a big part of of me and my personality. And if somebody doesn't like that, automatically we're we're not a match because. Right. You could just keep moving on from that point. Like yeah. I have been on dates where like it's just been dates, but in my mind I already know that's what it is. Like sometimes you just want female companionship. Right. You don't want to be around hard head dudes all the damn time. I want to hang out with my boys all the time. I want something soft around me, something more feminine. So I'm yeah. not I'm not dealing with that. So when I have that in mind already, I know. But if we're dating with the with the uh intent to have a relationship, be a sex gonna have to uh be somewhere in that initial uh in those initial stages so i need to know if we can keep moving on from here let me ask you this question um because now when you were kind of talking about that i was thinking about the, the feminine stuff um i heard a question that was brought up that said that guys that eat the box are feminine do you believe that no nah, that's bullshit they were saying that because <laughs> the fact that when a guy's down there the girl's looking down at the guy and saying i have control over you and i'm like it's kind of weird it's kind of weird that you think that they're like yeah i've i've i've, I've I can't even, so I'm I'm really good at like putting myself on both sides when yeah. it comes to stuff like that. I can't even, I can't even fathom that. Like, right nah. now, because when I'm, when I'm down there, I'm yeah. in control. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. saying. That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> like you, it's, it, to me, it's the total opposite from what, you know, they were saying is, uh, it's a power issue. You're controlling the situation, you know? Um, and then let me put on this next. It is, uh, (laughs) I only can play it for a few seconds before I get in trouble, but it is now time (laughs) to talk about confessions. Um, you ready for some confessions? I'm ready. Okay. So this one comes in. It says, I keep telling my girlfriend I'm going to propose one day, but to be honest, I don't see that ever happening because of her body count. She's been with more dudes in my graduating class and I'm really just with her until I get my life together. That's crazy. Um, don't blame them. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm telling you, body counts. <laughs> no, body count so counts. so listen, the body count does count, but well, relationship wise, because of but, the marriage. But relationship wise, that's crazy. For does she know this? Obviously, she obviously doesn't. She doesn't yeah. Um. So that's that's fucked up. Yeah. Off top, because I'm I'm really big on giving somebody, like, nah, you you get a chance to say yes or no. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not going to trick somebody into a situation. I'm I'm really big on being blunt. Like I'm probably well. He's most, not honest because the fact that he's saying he's with her until he gets his life right. Together. And that's for, so. Let's let's say so. Let's say that she finds a dude tomorrow that's going to treat her the way that she wants to, and and he and she he's she leading just her packs on. up. She just packs up and dip. He's gonna feel some kind of way about that shit. Yeah, he's not gonna be like, oh, whew, well, thank God, because uh, I was waiting. <laughs> I was waiting to get my life together before she get out of here. She she took the decision away from me. Now I don't have to break the news to her. No, he's gonna feel fucked up. Yeah. So yeah, nah. Yeah, I'm I'm big on honesty. Just be straight up with yeah. her. Just be just be honest. That shit that shit's gonna hurt. Yeah. Regardless, but give somebody the choice to stay. If she stays yeah. after he told her that, then what happens after that point is is not up to him. Yeah. Um. Here's another one. I was dating my boyfriend, and at the time. I was dating my boyfriend at the time and when I got bored with him and when he wasn't being and when he was being cheap with me, I got with his boss and when his boyfriend found, and when my boyfriend found out, I had his boss fire him. 
That's fucked up. That's yeah. That's big time. You're gonna up. have to meet a couple of my sisters. Yeah. And I'm I don't call women bitches, but the bitch. Yeah. <laughs> my sisters is coming to beat She you was guys. never with him for anything other than Off the fucking top, cup can, uh the come up. You about to get Whoops. it. My sisters is gonna give you the business. I'm gonna tell you that shit right now. Yeah. I'm calling all of them too. There's a lot. Yeah. That's fucked up that the boss would fire him. You know what I mean? Like Oh, the boss is catching it. Yeah. The boss is catching well, it. I'm already fired. Yeah, yeah, like I'm fired already. Oh, you about to get you you definitely about to get the business. He had to be the owner of the company because if that shit like you know what kind of HR nightmare that would be. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting you're getting the business. Yeah. Everybody's getting it. The sisters is beating your ass, and I'm I'm gonna meet you yeah. at work. I'm gonna do the same thing you did to her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Someone is. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another one. I was hooking up with this sneaky link, and when I almost got caught, I told my boyfriend he was with he was my cousin. Now my sneaky link comes over all the time when my boyfriend is about to leave to work, and my boyfriend thinks it's my cousin. Another fucked up situation. Yeah, both of them. Both of them getting it. Yeah. Both of them getting it. She she's wrong for that shit, but like if. <laughs> If I meet you yeah. at a point and then we become cool to a point where I think you're family, like there's there's a, a certain amount of trust that I've put into you. And if you take my trust away, yeah, it's a it's a wrap because that's the thing. That he's kind of dumb respect. though. Yeah. Cause the fact that he's oh, okay, it's I'm asking questions before. Like, why is he who's, always over when yeah. I'm going to work and yeah, who's who's your mom? Who's your dad? Like yeah. how come I don't ever see him like on the with the family shit? Who's like what or what's your what's your in? name? And then I'm I'm checking, you know what I mean? Like, cause for one, why am I leaving Oh girl home with when the, with another guy. You know what I mean? Like like I said, I'm asking questions. Yeah. But I mean, some people have that trust in like that trust in uh thing in them where they you're not you're not expecting it to happen, so you're not looking for it. Um, but the funny thing is, so I have this cousin, she lives in Atlanta and she was married at the time and we hadn't talked since we were like kids and then yeah. we started talking like all the time. And her husband <laughs> he's a white dude. Yeah. And um uh, her husband at the time was like, who is this dude like you always on the phone with? And she was like, that's my cousin. So he asked my uncle. He's she's she's my my grandma's brother's daughter. Uh -huh. Um so he was like, Oh yeah, that's Cameron. That's that's my sister Lenora's uh grandson. And yeah. he was like, Oh, okay. Cause yeah, he wasn't he wasn't going for none of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so he he definitely was asking questions. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gotta ask questions. And then the last one, I secretly installed the camera in my girl's parents' house because a friend let me know that my girl might be cheating. My girl wasn't cheating, but her dad was. He found the camera, and now I know his secret, but he doesn't know it's me. That, that's that's two ways Black of male. fucked up. Number one, Sorry. Uh, you're uh, in somebody else's home, though, bro. Yeah, I know. Like, that's just it. If I'm the dad. and I mean, I, I stumbled yeah. across it. I didn't go for you. I just stumbled across it. I am so sorry. I'm gonna need some bread, you dog. Hey, no, nah, nah, you gonna <laughs> someone's I ain't like that. somebody getting their ass beat. That's yeah. off top. Like that's a violation. That's bro, another man's house. Yeah, like yeah, that's. And then who's to say that he's not checking out on the the mom too? And right. you know, if there's sisters and other people in the house, yeah, and... that's that's a super violation. Like men, men are like hella territorial, and I'm really big on respect. Uh, I don't give a fuck who you trying to to catch in this motherfucking house. You. You better ask some motherfucking questions and find another way to do it. But you, yeah. you go as far as to put violate my house. Yeah, and you're See? violating my privacy and all kind of other shit. No, no yeah. telling what else that person has seen in the house. Like, and the fact that this is not your fucking place. Yeah, I'm like, gonna what? pay someone to violate him. Like, imagine somebody. <laughs> yeah, like that's just like you coming in and putting your feet on somebody's fucking dinner table. Yeah, like nah. Yeah, it's not what? happening with me. It's it's I don't know. Hold on, I'm looking for this beat. Okay, here we go. Are you pretty smart? I like to say I'm, I'm, I got some basic intelligence. I don't know. We're gonna see if you're smart or if you're fucking stupid. Yikes! Yeah, it's not hard. <laughs> Actually, it's not really. Are you smarter than a, like a third grader or fifth grader? It's more of just common sense. Common sense. Yeah, it's All more right. common sense questions. Uh, but name three countries, and you can't say Mexico, Canada, or U.S. Um. Uruguay, Brazil, Argentina. Okay, cool. Uh, what flavors are the same uh, with Skittles? What flavors are the same with uh -huh. Skittles? So like green apple, lemon, fucking grape. Uh, <laughs> there, there's no flavors. 
Or Skittles. They're all the same flavor. Are you serious? Kid you not. Skittles and Fruit Loops, they don't have, they're the same flavor. Nah, Skittles taste different, bro. No, they have the scents. The scents is what it triggers your brain to say, okay, like it's different, but it's, they're all the same. Oh, well, they, they did a good job at tricking some. Yeah. I mean, Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops, I, I thought. Yeah, you know, I know Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops don't, they all taste the same. Yeah. Like fucking uh, Captain Crunch. Yeah. Captain Crunch um, is so good. I'm sorry. I know that's off topic, but fire. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. For Luke, or, uh, you said Captain Crunch, right? Yeah. Yeah, Captain Crunch annoys the shit out of me because they get stuck to the top of your mouth. Yeah, that shit cuts you up. That's yeah. why but you got to eat it fast as hell. I'm willing to make yeah. sacrifices. No. Nah. Kids that eat, uh, you know, Captain Crunch or fucking have silver in their mouth and fucking eat Twizzlers <laughs> and chew on tires. Twizzlers. And they chew on tires and shit. And, um, chew well tires. One of the crew, the little baby from the crew. Yeah. <laughs> If a rooster laid an egg right in front of you, what color would it be? First of all, if it did that, I'm taking it to a museum off top. Nice, nice. Like, okay. Like roosters don't right. roosters a dude. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and the last one. Where's a woman's G spot? Where's a woman's G spot? Yeah, ladies pay attention. So <laughs> y'all on camera, right? <laughs> it's it's so let's see. Go one, two. The Jimmy, sec- Jimmy, take notes. Listen, right the second knuckle. Yeah, yeah, that's what you go to the right second here. knuckle and you curve and yeah. you curve your finger, and and that's where it's at. Yeah, I mean, I know, but or actually, I don't even know if I know. I should ask my wife, but yeah, I don't know. Um, we didn't get a chance to play uh, the last show, but I wanted to. I've been wanting to play this, you know, to bring it back. But it's uh, it's kind of like a smash or pass kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, to say who you would rather, um, your boss or your best friend's mom. My boss. Yeah. Uh, your first ex or your second ex? Second ex. Okay. Uh, Big Oprah or Little Oprah? Big Oprah. Okay. Big Oprah or Little Oprah? Yeah. Um, Little Oprah got more money. So, yeah, we go with Little Oprah. You think so? Yeah, Little Oprah is... You remember she, when she, uh, she, she got smaller, show? that's when she became a billionaire. Oh, okay, I guess so, yeah. yeah. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner or Bruce Jenner? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Who are you picking, Jimmy? <laughs> I ain't picking nothing. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> this game is finished. The it's the same game? fucking person. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Who are you picking, Jimmy? That's all that question. Don't ask me. Uh, and the last one. Bad Bunny or Bad Barbie? I don't even know who they are. Bad Bunny is that, that weird Barbie. kid that's doing Bad like Barbie. the reggaeton stuff. And uh, Bad Barbie is the Catch Me Outside girl. Oh, Catch Me Outside. Yeah. How about that? She's an adult now, right? Yeah, dude, yeah, I just heard that. 20, oh, yeah, she's yeah, she, she's legal age now, but I just heard that she oh, made like fans. a killing on her OnlyFans. Yeah, she's making money. Yeah, yeah she's making bread on OnlyFans. Like millions and stuff like she's that. She's really not even that cute. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let me ask you because uh, Jimmy wanted me to ask you. So we're doing Smash or Pass. Big Oprah or Little Oprah? I'm going Big Oprah. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner or Bruce Jenner? Uh, <laughs> 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 you remember Chappelle's show when he uh, had uh, Oprah's baby? Yeah. 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 And yeah. Yeah. And that is a show, my friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To all the viewers out there, thank you for tuning in and supporting. Please don't cancel me. This is all for entertainment. I'm throwing my disclaimer out there, like. This is all just to give people the voice to, you know, just the bullshit, have fun and get away from their fucking crazy life. Uh, I want to thank my guest, Cameron, for showing love and coming on the show. Uh, we didn't actually shit on him, but he did get a little bit shitted. Uh, but how'd you like it, though, so far? Oh, yeah, it was fun. So I feel like when it gets closer to the to the canceled questions, yeah, I want to be I want to be on here and uh, I'm going to go a while because I do have I do have I think because we did the. The parent podcast before, yeah. I'm, I'm still in that that reason that in mind. Just we talking shit, yeah. and we all get canceled together. Yeah, because when I'm in, yeah, that shit talking mode. Like, yeah, I can talk shit with the best of them. It's definitely they're gonna be like, what? Yeah. yeah, the people who know me gonna be like, oh yeah, that's Cam. But everybody else that that sees me like in work mode or like in the community, they'll be like, where this motherfucker come from? Yeah, but we there's dual side. There's two sides to every coin. Yeah, yeah. But I thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. Um, ladies, you know, hit them up. Where can they follow you at? Uh, respect underscore the cam. Wait, respect underscore the underscore cam on TikTok and uh Instagram. Okay. 
And uh, ladies, he is single, so remember that. Do a deep voice. Yeah, hey, listen. Do you do your uh, your best uh, pickup line for the girls out there? My Someone best pickup me. line. Yeah. Um, I'm responsible. <laughs> 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 you know what's you know a good pickup line for nowadays? I can get a car with zero down. <laughs> Not it. Here it good, is, right? good credit score. <laughs> I don't. I don't have to talk to you every day. <laughs> like I'm not gonna ask you. I'm not gonna ask you where you at. I'm not one of those dudes that like cares about what his girl wears and all that other type of shit. Like the the moment that that I feel disrespected, that's where we're gonna have an issue. But. As long as you're being respectful, you can wear whatever you want and, and do whatever you want. Don't have me looking stupid. Yeah. And I'm not going to have you looking stupid. And ladies, um, he'll peg you on a pagan holiday. What? Just a heads up. Peg you on a pagan holiday. What the? Yeah. He said when that. you get a little bit older, I'll tell you about it. <laughs> um, but ladies, ladies, send him a, send him a boo pic. Uh, guys, send him a dick pic in his DMs. Nah, and, um... Don't do that. <laughs> leave, leave the dicks out. I got my own dick. I can see it every day. <laughs> But as we wrap the show, I want to give a huge shout out to my guest. Uh, you want to pr- plug, promote anything? Um, I'm gonna do this again. Yeah. You um. So my daughter is a super super creative. Um. So everybody go check out her her artwork. Um. She designs clothes. She does custom uh murals and lots of commission things. Um. It's ShereeWilliams.com. That's S H O r e i g h w i l l i a m s dot com so check her out um let her know if you like her uh artwork if you want to get tattoos done by her if you want her to make you some kind of custom clothing um go ahead and reach out yes please support the movement and i hope you guys all had fun i thank you all for kicking the shit with us and having fun to dip in the whole habari entertainment and all the viewers out there Everybody in here, I hope you guys enjoy the show. If not, who gives a shit? Uh, please also check out One Love on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Have a good night. Spread love. Like your legs. And we're out. Peace. Peace. <laughs>